we see many things in our society which is not Allah's law, about which Allah's messenger didn't give any approval, but still we are doing that type of work. So we should not do that, about which Allah's messenger didn't say anything. We should not do that. Allah's messenger said that it is mentioned in Suhi Al Bukhari Hadith number 26. 9-7 Allah's Messenger said that if anyone invented something which is not in harmony with the principles of our religion that is rejected. So Allah's Messenger said that if anyone invents something but if it doesn't match with the principle of our religion then it is rejected. So there are a lot of things which is to say many people are doing many things but it doesn't approved by Islam. It doesn't approved by the Sohi source, it doesn't approve by the saying of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But they are still doing that. So, especially one thing that has come in our notice that you will see if you go to a mosque, you will see that especially in Fajr prayer, you will see that when the obligatory prayer is running, if if a person come, then at first he perform the voluntary prayer, then he join then he joined to the obligatory prayer but it doesn't actually it doesn't actually matching with the saying of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah's messenger said allah's messenger said in sohi muslim kitab 6 hadith number 75 76 allah's messenger said that when the ikama of obligatory prayer is pronounced there is no prayer except the obligatory prayer it is also mentioned in jamia tirmidhi hadith number 4 to 1. It's also mentioned in Sun Abu Dawood. Hadith number, hadith number 1 to 6, 6. It's also mentioned in Sunan an -Nasi. Hadith number 8, 6, 5 and 8, 6, 6. It's also mentioned in Sunan Ibn Majah. It's also mentioned in Sunan Ibn Majah. Hadith number 11, 11, 51. It's also mentioned in Mishkat Al-Masabi. Hadith number 1, 0, 5, 8. Further, it's also mentioned in Riyadh Salin Hadith number 1759 Allah's Messenger said that when the ikama of obligatory prayer or prescribed prayer is pronounced then there is no prayer except the obligatory prayer but in the society it is happening completely upside down it is going against the saying of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is not matching it is not matching it is not adapting with the saying of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's not adapting so what should you do? You have at first you have to follow the authentic source. Then you have to follow at first authentic source. Then you have to do according to what? According to what Allah's Messenger said. At first you have to keep it in mind. You have to memorize it and you have to follow it. Then you should use in your every ibadat. Here Allah's Messenger completely said that there is no prayer except the obligatory prayer when the ikama of obligatory prayer is pronounced then there is no prayer except the obligatory prayer but in further prayer they are doing completely upside down so we should prevent them as Allah's messenger said that so we have to follow the saying of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam further Allah's messenger said Allah's messenger said in Sohi al-Bukhari hadith number Hadith number 663, Allah's Messenger said that the ikama of obligatory prayer is pronounced. Allah's Messenger passing by a person who is still performing his prayer. But here the ikama of obligatory prayer already pronounced. Then after the congregation prayer, then the sahabas, the sahabas surround that the person and said him, said him have you said that the the father prayer is for rakat and the sahabas said him protesting that have you said that the prayer of father is for rakat and further it is mentioned in sohi muslim in kitab 6 hadith number 81 allah's messenger passed by a person and this time the ikama of obligatory prayer is pronounced, but the, the person is, is still performing the voluntary prayer. 
after after his prayer he joined in congregation prayer then after finishing the congregation prayer allah's messenger said to him that which one you count as a further prayer which you have joined later or which you have performed alone it's also mentioned in sahih muslim kitab 6 hadith number 7980 it's also mentioned in sunan abu daud hadith number 1265 it's also mentioned in sunan an-nasai hadith number 867 and 868 is it's also mentioned in um sunan ibn majah it's also mentioned in sunan ibn majah hadith number 1153 that allah's messenger here completely protested him who performed prayer but not joining the obligatory prayer allah's messenger protested him allah's messenger deeply protested him and even allah's messenger say, said that that which one you count as a further prayer which you have performed alone or which you have joined later to the congregation prayer so it's a complete source which i have quoted that when the ikama of obligatory prayer is pronounced then there is no prayer except the obligatory prayer so we should we should avail this authentic saying in our life and if we avail it then inshallah we will be successful because at least we are following we are obeying one saying of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that will create you beautiful that will create meaningful that you are obeying you are trying to obey the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his saying and allah's messenger said it's mentioned in so yal bukhari hadith number 631 allah's messenger said that perform prayer as you have seen me so as a muslim it's our responsibility to perform prayer as prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam performed so if you if we do not perform like prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's prayer then our prayer would be invalid so if we do not want to make our prayer invalid so we have to follow and we have to obey the saying of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam